So what's involved here today is we want to put uh, the athletes that have come up long through a series of tests to see, you know, are they suitable for bobsleigh, skeleton uh, and monobob, which is a new event for women for the next Olympics, and build a squad for the next four years. For bobsleigh, it's um, the brakeman at the back uh, would have explosive leg strength, so you're looking at someone from the rugby world like a prop, you know, who's short and squat and really, really good at explosive power like the clean and jerk, but has good line speed over the five or ten meters. Uh, and then for the driver, you're looking at someone maybe who's a winger uh, from rugby or a sprinter in athletics. Early on in the beginning of the uh, Irish Olympic history, back in 89, 90, 90, 92, leading up that, that was actually primarily rowers. Uh, and then for the 98 games, it was primarily athletics. Um, but yeah, now we're opening it up um, to rugby, GAA, um, any, you know, even uh, Olympic lifts, because the clean and jerk and the snatch and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we're trying to open up to as many sports as possible. The, the, the levels uh, are, so f are so infinitesimal now in rugby and GA. Like you can get cut from a, a rugby academy and you're still a top class athlete. And we'd love to get that person who maybe just didn't make the Leinster Academy or Munster Academy and could you transfer those you know, uh, great athletic abilities to us. So we're also looking for people, you know, age 18, 19, 20, 21, uh, that could make this a career sport rather than something to do it, they do in the twilight of their career. Yeah, we have, um, we're testing the explosive power with, behind me they're doing the overhead shot put. We've got, we've done the um, standing long jump and the standing vertical jump. And then we've also tested them over 15 meter sprint. I'm a javelin tour. I've held the under 23 national record, 75-89. Uh, I played loads of sports, played rugby and cricket for my school. Why Bobsley? Uh, well, I guess the old record holder for the under 23 javelin, the current senior national record holder, Terry McHugh, he did Bobsley as well. He went to six Olympics, uh, two winter and four summer. So it's, I guess javelin and Bobsley might translate a little bit. So uh, that's kind of, I heard about this through my coach and He's sent me down, so I thought I'd give it a go. I've been doing it like since I was eight, and then I'd be doing football and just like other things as well. Like once I started school, I started playing hockey, and then I started training properly for it. Like, um, my coach texted me about it, saying that like, oh, it would be a bit of fun for me. Mm. So I was like, might as well. So after coming down from Longford, I have no experience in anything like this. <laughs> I can't even compare anything I've done to this before. So uh, it's just interesting. I was a hammer thrower. I uh, did a bit of discus and shot, but primarily hammer. Um, I went straight out of uh, secondary school in Ireland and I got a sports scholarship to America, like a lot of people did in the 80s. I was working towards the Olympics actually in, in Barcelona in 92. And um, it just didn't happen, you know, these things, you know, these things take place and uh, I just didn't make it and I thought that the, sp the sport was gone from me and I came back to, moved back to Ireland in 94 and was working, always staying in shape and, and training at a club level for my club, Denor. And then, just like today, I, the call went out in uh, September 1996, after the Summer Games there, that um, the Olympic Council wanted to put forward a bobsleigh team for the 98 Games in Nagano, Japan. They had trials and uh, I went along, just like today, and I got on the team. So, you know, it was one of those things where they say, uh, you know, what goes by you will come back at you. I couldn't believe it and I got to the Games of Engine 98, albeit in a completely different discipline than I had trained for for, for 20 years, you know. Standing at the top of the slope, looking down the ice at an Olympic track, knowing that uh, you've made it after, you know, yeah, 20 years. I mean, I wanted to get to the Olympics since I was 11. That was incredible.